Today's video is sponsored by Xmark, makers of professional grade mowers. So welcome back everyone, Mike here. If you have been following our YouTube channel, you know that we're in the process of building this hobby barn here behind us. Today we're gonna to talk about my experience so far with this pole building. We're gonna go over the pros and cons. We're gonna talk about costs, you know, talk about maintenance, everything that you need to know if you're considering building one. Now, first off, I'm gonna kind of give you a little walk around here and I'll tell you what our plans are for this building. Uh, the building is 40 by 72. And then we've got this roof over this end down here. Underneath that is going to be a little patio. And then out in front of it, we're going to put a swimming pool in in the spring. When you walk inside here, we've got a 10 by 10 garage door right here, one on the other side. This area in here is all going to be used for like equipment storage and a shop. Then over at this end here, like where these double doors are, this is all going to be a finished game room. The whole building will be finished and insulated. Uh, we're going to do rough cut lumber on this side for the walls. Finished lumber on this side. All hardwoods in the game room over here. We'll have a 5 inch concrete floor with radiant floor heat. Should keep it nice and toasty in the winter. But it's going to be kind of a uh, multi-purpose building I guess you could say. I'll have a little office in here, but it will have a small kitchen, bathroom, uh, and like I said, a game room with those double doors going out into a patio. Now, one of the advantages that I like about a pole building like this is these big, clear, open spans. You know what I mean? I'm 40 feet across this way, 72 feet long. There's no posts in the middle, nothing in the way. So you're kind of open to do whatever you want inside with interior walls with a pole building like this because it all comes down to those big trusses up there to be able to get that big open span. That's one of the advantages of a pole building. When you hear the word pole building, some people may or may not know, so we'll go over it. Basically, it comes down to the foundation system. This is it. That's it right there. You have these columns here. These are laminate columns. This part is pressure-treated lumber. And this is in your entire foundation right here. These go down into the ground approximately 40, 42 inches, and they set on a concrete pedestal. One of the advantages to this system right here is it's a lot less money than a conventional footer and block system, uh, poured concrete walls, much less expensive doing it this way. One of the disadvantages are probably doesn't have the lifespan of a poured foundation. It probably doesn't. However, for a building like this, I think it's perfect. And the reason I think it's a good idea is you're trying to build a, the biggest building you can 
but still be able to afford that building. You know, we're looking at close to 3,000 square feet inside here. And like I said, it's going to have concrete, radiant floor heat, finished walls all through here, bathroom, small kitchen. Now we're going to be doing a lot of this work ourselves. All the wood on the inside is going to come from uh, our sawmill and trees that we have on our own property. So it's going to be a ton of work, but between the building, the concrete, the interior, the radiant floor heat, probably going to have about $100,000 in this building when it's all said and done, which is a lot of money. But when you think about it, for almost 3,000 square feet, I guess it would be 2,880 square feet inside. Plus, you know, we're going to have a patio out there. You're looking at around $34, $35 per square foot. Now, like I said, we're going to do most of the work on the inside of that building with our own labor and a lot of our own materials from here on the property. But $35 per square foot compared to what it costs to build a home, it's quite a difference. I believe the national average right now is around $120 per square foot. So for this building here, we're looking at basically about 25% of what it would cost to build a conventional home. Now, when we decided that we needed to build a building for you know, more room for the family and for storage, for equipment and a shop. We looked at several different types of construction and we decided on the pole building for several different reasons, but mostly because of cost, like I said. This one here, you know, we're going to have around $100,000 in it. And like I said, $35 a square foot, basically. But if you were just building a garage, you didn't have the heated floors, not all these windows, weren't finishing the whole thing, you could probably get that $35 a square foot down to 20, maybe even less than that. So it is a really good option for people just for storage. Now I'm not sure if they build pole buildings all over the country. They're very popular here in the Northeast. They last many, many years. And I think it's a great way to go. You get a lot of bang for your buck. I'll give you a look here underneath, uh, underneath this roof here. We're gonna finish all this up in here. You know, we'll have lighting up in here. This will all be like tongue and groove wood. And I mentioned earlier, the swimming pool will be out there. But my plan here was to try to build something as maintenance free as possible. And that's another reason we went with this type of building. Oh, and by the way, this right in here, this is going to be that uh, laminate stone. That'll look real nice right there. But as far as maintenance goes, on the exterior of this building, there's not going to be much at all. You know, maybe clean the gutters out once a year, or you could actually put that leaf guard on there. But it's a metal roof, metal siding, no painting, no staining, maybe an occasional pressure washing. But maintenance-wise, it'll be very minimal on taking care of this building. Now, everybody has different needs and circumstances and uses for a building on their property. You know, some of you may be looking to build a new wood shop or an additional garage, maybe a horse barn, may just be for additional storage. And I'm not saying a pole building is the perfect fit for everybody, but I think for us it was the right choice. So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you all have a wonderful day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.